Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion CT80 EQ Refractor Telescope Kit. So you've got the telescope itself, the equatorial mount, and then we've bundled it with this kit of some accessories, a moon filter, and some reference material here, plus a flashlight, to get you started in uh, viewing the night sky. So let me show you some of the details. All right, so let's talk about the telescope first. Um, it's an 80 millimeter refractor, uh, F. 5, 400 millimeter focal length. So that means it's a very rich field, low power telescope um, out of the box. You can always push the magnification up higher by adding different eyepieces onto it later. Uh, but it comes with two to get you started, a 25 and a 10 millimeter. So that'll give you 16 and 40 magnification. Now, a rich field, low power telescope is wonderful for wide fields of view of the night sky. Uh, the Andromeda Galaxy actually looks better in a small scope like this than it does in a really big telescope because those scopes are so big and so narrow field of view that you only see a part of it. But a rich field telescope like this grabs the entire Andromeda Galaxy plus some black sky around it, giving you really good contrast. And at that low power, it sucks in a lot of light. So a wonderful scope for low power Messier objects like Andromeda, uh, the Orion Nebula, star clusters like the Pleiades would be absolutely beautiful through a scope like this. Uh, and then you can also use it for planetary detail. Um, at 40 magnification out of the box, you can see the uh, moons around Jupiter, no problem. Uh, you can see individual craters on the moon. Saturn's rings are just starting to get there. You'll see them. It'll be kind of tiny, but you'll see a ring around Saturn. If you wanted to enhance any of those views, you could always add on a higher magnification eyepiece or maybe a Barlow lens to double the power. So a scope like this is capable of low power, wide field, and also high magnification uh, planetary views. Now, it's called an EQ-mounted uh, EQ mounted telescope because of this uh, tripod and mount head here. It's what's called an equatorial mount, so it tracks along with the axis of Earth's rotation by simply twisting this one knob uh, here. That differs from an alt-azimuth mount, altitude, up, down, azimuth, left and right. Those are the real kind of basic, simple mounts, but it's hard to track, especially planted at high power, uh, with an Altaz mount because you've got to move it a little bit up, a little to the left, a little up. So with this, you polar line it, you point this axis right here at Polaris, and then you can move the scope east to west along this axis and north and south along this axis. So um, let's just pretend I'm looking at uh, Jupiter over here. I'll lock it down. Um, you can fine tune the position by twisting both knobs. These are slow motion knobs, so they're geared and you can get very fine motions at high power. And then once you've found Jupiter, you've got it centered, you just twist this knob, and as the Earth rotates underneath us, this will counteract that, and it'll keep Jupiter in the field of view. Or you can add a motor later on, and it will take the place of your hand spinning this, and it'll just keep the, uh, the planet in the field uh, because it knows the, the speed of the sky or the speed of the Earth rotating below you, and makes it very easy for, say, a bunch of friends if you've got them all over and they all want to take a look, and you don't want to keep adjusting it between each, um, each view. So in addition to the eyepieces, underneath you've got this uh, 90 degree elbow. This is the star diagonal. And it's designed to uh, give you a comfortable view when you're pointing straight up. So let's say you're looking straight up here. You're looking horizontally into the telescope. So a very comfortable angle rather than having to get underneath and look upwards. So the star diagonal comes in very handy for high elevation viewing. Uh, it will also work for daytime viewing if you wanted to point this thing out uh, on the distant mountains or the view out the window. But just keep in mind, a standard star diagonal gives you an upright image, but it is a mirror image. It's, it's reversed left and right. So if you're trying to read the name of a boat, it would be backwards. You can always change that by getting a different diagonal. But for astronomy, these work great, and they're, they're really kind of ideal for it. On the side, you've got a finder scope. This is a reflex sight which means it's, there's no magnification. It's not like a little telescope. Uh, when you look through it, you're, you see a little dot reflecting off a little window, uh, and you can keep both eyes open. It's like a heads-up display. Uh, if you keep both eyes open, you look through it, and you place the dot right on the object you want to see, and it will be in the field of view of your eyepiece. So a very easy way to locate uh, objects in the night sky. And then the last thing I wanted to mention about the scope itself is the tripod. This is a nice solid uh, metal tripod. It's got some cutouts in the tray here for your eyepieces. Here's that other eyepiece, the 10 millimeter. So when you're not using it, you just drop it into the tray. You got three more cutouts for maybe a Barlow lens or some other eyepiece you might get in the future. The tripod itself, I've got it fully extended here. So you can actually be standing up viewing. Um, I'm six foot tall, so it's, it's a pretty good size here. Uh, for standing up, but you could always lower it. If you loosen these locks here, lower it down, 
get yourself a, a drummer stool or some small patio chair and you can sit down and view the night sky. So a very comfortable way to do it. So included in the kit that you get with the basic uh, telescope and eyepieces, uh, we've included some handy uh, accessories for reference material, for locating objects in the sky and getting more detail. The Moon Map 260 uh, shows you all of the craters, the interesting craters, mountain ranges, some Apollo landing sites. So it's a great thing to uh, locate specific features and, and tell your friends what you're looking at when, you, when they look through the, uh, the telescope. Uh, speaking of the moon, it also comes with a moon filter. When you're using a big 80 millimeter scope, I mean, just think of this as like an 80 millimeter eyeball. Your, your, your eye is five to seven millimeter pupil diameter. This is 80 millimeters. It sucks in a lot of light. So a moon filter threads onto the back of the eyepiece and darkens down the view so you don't get as much glare. It'll increase the contrast, give you a more pleasing view. So you get that with the kit. Uh, you also get a, a star target planisphere. Just dial in the date and the time and it will show you what constellations are up. That's a great way to start learning the sky and learning which constellations are where. Uh, and then you also get a red light flashlight, the red beam flashlight. When you're viewing the map or the star chart or the moon map uh, at night, you don't want to turn a bright white flashlight on because it's going to destroy your night vision and your pupils will shrink up and it'll take 20, 30 minutes to get fully dark adapted again. The red beam is a, uh, a red flashlight and your eye is not as susceptible to red light as, as it is to white. So it helps preserve your night vision. All right, there you have it. This is the Orion CT80 EQ Refractor Telescope Kit. The refractor, the equatorial mount, some accessories to help you find some things in the night sky. Thank you very much. Clear skies.